This video will cover the Volunteers Plus tab on the Enterprise version. The first thing that you can do on your Volunteers Plus is run reports on your volunteers. You can choose the Reports tab here and enter the information for the report. So for the first part here, you need to select the date or you can customize your own date by clicking the calendar here. For part two, you need to select the report. And for part three, you need to select basic, detailed, or summary. Summary is going to give you the least amount of information on the report. Detailed will give you the most, and basic is kind of in between those two. For part four, make sure that you select your school or the schools that you're trying to run the report for. And then under that, we have customizable options. So just make sure you customize this however you want. When you click on continue, it's going to give you three options, display, view and print, and export. If you're exporting it, make sure you select an export type at the bottom here. I will just go ahead and display it for you. And mine will say no data found just because I haven't checked in any volunteers today, but you should have the volunteers information here with the number of hours that they did. I'm gonna go ahead and click on back. You can also set up the automated reports, if you click on volunteer reports on the left hand side and then go down to reports plus. This will allow you to click on setup and then set up the report to be sent to your email at a specific day or time. Now let's go ahead and go back to your volunteers plus tab. You can also choose to edit the volunteer approval report header. You will just need to click on that and then type in whatever you want here and click on save. If you want to see the list of volunteers, you would need to click on volunteers on the left hand side. This will show you your volunteers that you currently have at the school. To edit any of these, you will need to click on the pencil and paper next to each name. On this same page, you can also create the approved volunteer template. And you can also choose to mark volunteers as inactive or deny, and you can also view their application if they did fill one out. On the left hand side here, you're able to create and edit volunteer applications by clicking on volunteer application. You can click on create a volunteer application to create your own application here. You would just need to fill in the information and check anything that you want to be displayed on the application. Once you are done, make sure you click on save and this will create your volunteer application. Under volunteer application, again, you can manage your volunteer applications. If you did already create an application, you can come back here and edit it. You will just need to click on this edit button, the pencil and paper next to the application. You can also delete it by clicking the X or just view it by clicking the magnifying glass with the picture. If you choose to edit, it will pull up the application that you created and you can edit this at any time. Just make sure when you're done, scroll all the way down and click on save changes. And it does give you the public URL for that specific application so you can send this in emails or post it onto your school website. Now back under volunteer application, you can manage the volunteer levels by clicking on volunteer levels. You can either edit these by clicking the pencil and paper next to each one, or you can create a new level. You can also edit the volunteer activities for the volunteer application by clicking on volunteer activities. And you can edit the specific activity by clicking the pencil and paper next to each activity name, or you can create a new activity by clicking on create new activity.
You will then need to click on Save Changes and the new activity will be saved successfully. This is the new activity that will be seen on the application. Under Volunteer Applications, you can also edit the Volunteer Ethnicity. You can edit the specific ethnicity by clicking the pencil and paper next to each ethnicity name, or you can create a new ethnicity by clicking Create New Ethnicity. Back under the Volunteer Application, you can edit the application header by clicking on application header. You will just need to fill in the required information here for the application header and then click on save changes. Under volunteer application you can also edit the volunteer organizations. This will allow you to add organizations for volunteers so that way you can run reports on it later. Under Volunteer Application, again, you have your Volunteer Form Settings. This will allow you to select how many schools that a person is filling out the application for can check. So if they're only allowed to check one box for one school, if you do have multiple schools in the district, then you would put one in the box here. If you will allow them to volunteer at all the schools in your district, then you want to put a number other than one and then click on save. The next tab is going to be your calendar tab. The calendar tab will allow you to edit the calendar events and these are going to be calendar events for your volunteers. If you do want to create a new event you want to click on create new event. You can also edit an event by clicking the pencil and paper next to each event name. Back under the calendar tab here, we have the district calendar. This is for the district. If the district does post any specific events, you will be able to see that here. You can also copy and paste this public URL for the district calendar so that you can paste it maybe onto your school website or a volunteer website. I'm going to go ahead and click on back here. And again, under calendars, we do have the school calendar. And this is where you can see your school events. So you do have that public URL at the bottom again for the school. And that way the volunteers are able to see what events are going on at the school. And you can send this through email or you can post it onto the school website as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on back again. The next tab is going to be your emails tab. You can choose to compose emails or create email templates for your volunteers. The first one is email send and compose. You can compose your emails here. After you have created your email templates, you can choose to send an email to a specific school. And then you will need to select the template. For right now, we have the approved template, the inactive, and the renew template. I'm going to go ahead and select approved. And then you will need to select the people who are pending who need to be approved. And then click on send, and they will get an email notification that will tell them that they are approved. Back on the left hand side here under emails, you can create the email templates for this. So you will need to select the email template for either approved, denied, inactive, renew, pending, or other. You will need to create the template name and then create the subject and the message at the bottom. Once you click on save, that will save your new email template that you can use to send emails or compose emails later. The background checks tab, that will not run background checks on your volunteers, however it does keep track of when your volunteers have had maybe local or state background checks, uh, fingerprints done, sexual offender checks, or orientation. 
So it'll show all the volunteers at the school that you select here. And you can select the boxes next to what they've had done. So you can click on none, in process, completed, denied. And it'll show the date that you edited this. To save that information, just make sure you click on update on the far right hand side. And even though school check-in does not run background checks on your volunteers, it does run the offender checks. All you have to do is click on the offender check menu here and click on offender check. If you do have pending volunteers, they will show up on this page here and you can select their name and then run the offender check on them. You can also run it on active volunteers. Just note that for the offender check test, it does need to have a gender and a date of birth. So you will just select who you want to run the offender check on and then click on offender check and it will run that for you. The next tab is going to be your district volunteer questions. If there are any volunteer questions in the district, they will be found here. And the last tab is going to be your archived applications. If you choose to archive your applications, you can see them by selecting the school here. And right now I don't have any. But if you do have them for one of the schools, you will, you will be able to see them here. So to get back to the school check-in program, all you have to do is go back to the home tab and then click on back to school check-in. This will take you back to the normal school check-in settings. And that concludes this video. To access additional videos, please visit us at schoolcheckin.com.